Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good, Finishing good. the day. Okay, good. How was your weekend? My weekend, a little relaxed. But today, oh. so busy. Uh-huh. Did you go to work? Yes, but, but in my home. Okay. So you're doing um, home office? That's it, yes. Good. What time do you start? What time? At you start. 7 a.m. or 7 o'clock a.m. Okay. And what time do you finish? Around 5 o'clock. Okay. And do you have breaks uh, during that time? Yes. Yes, I have some breaks. Okay. That's good. Nice. What time is your lunch? At around 12. Okay. Do you put the time or the company tells you what time you need to eat? No, I do it. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 That's nice. When I am hungry, I'm going to take something. <laughs> okay, good, good. How much time do you have for lunch? Like 15 minutes, no more. 50? 15. One five? Yeah. Oh, not much. Not much, yes. Okay, all right. Because the my cell phone doesn't stop at all. Oh, okay. And, and where do you work again? Academic coordinator. Right, right, right. Yes, I remember. Okay, that's good. Yes, it is. Good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. It's May 18th. It's 8 o'clock already. And it's Monday year 2020 how was your weekend people how was your weekend samuel eduardo elizabeth kevin the last weekend yes uh-huh how, how was the last weekend, Elizabeth? Uh huh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, my last my last weekend has um was uh, the the I don't know how to say depressive depressive. Yeah, depressive. Sad. <laughs> okay. Sad because my little dog. Um, uh, was sick. Okay. Um, because um, I don't know how do you say hígado. Liver. Liver. Yeah, liver. Uh, the liver. Uh, uh, creció. <laughs> Tampoco grew sé. up. The liver grew up. Grew up. Like, like a like a person. Yes, the same word. Ah, okay. So, liver grew up, and she she, she needs take pills for. Okay. Pills. Okay. All right. And I I I I have a expense <laughs> gast expensive gastar mucho. Expensive. Yeah, I spent expensive. a lot. I, I spent, spent much. A lot. I spent a lot. All right. How old is the dog? Uh, she has um, maybe seven years old, I think. Seven. I seven. Yeah, seven is is old to be a dog. Yes. Right. Yeah, I mean, seven years for a dog, that's, that's a lot. Okay. Yep. All um, right. I'm sad for that. And yeah. the last week was uh, difficult for that. Yes, I imagine. Yeah, people love their pets a lot. You know, cats, yeah. dogs, rabbits. 
I, I have two child and, and three uh, animals. So all, uh, all are my son too. Right. <laughs> my... right. So you have two children and three animals. Uh huh. What are the other two animals? Uh, two dogs and one cat. Okay. And they get along? What? Do they get along? I don't understand, get along? Like, do they have a good relationship? Ah, yes. Uh, um, the cat come uh, with us when he was uh, three months. Three months. Um, tres meses de nacido, three months. Old. Old, okay. Uh -huh. And my, my dog, my dog, um, no, I, I don't know how do you say, le dio de, de mamar. <laughs> really? Yes. So you said, my dog uh, fed the cat. Fed. Fed, F-E-D. Le dio de comer. Yeah, fed the cat. Fed the cat, and and uh, uh, she um, she sh lo crió. Uh, yeah. the dog raised the cat. Raised. Yeah, raised. The dog raised the cat. Uh huh. No, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting history. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not a common story. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> yeah. What? She said that's strange. Yes. Uh, so uh, I, we think my cat believes he he is a dog. <laughs> Maybe you don't you don't know. I can hear you. I can't hear you. I can hear you, Alba. I hear you well. Maybe uh, the internet signal is not that good. Kevin, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay. Uh, Samuel, can you hear me? Yes. Eduardo? Yes, yes I can hear you. Okay, good. All right. So, um, do you guys remember the topics we covered on the on Thursday? Do you remember the topics? Uh, about, I remember about the direct, uh, indirect question. Good. What's the difference between direct and indirect questions? Can we somebody use, tell us? We use indirect questions when we want to be more polite uh, when we are talking with any person. Okay. Can you give us an example? Um, I don't know. Uh, can you... For example, when you need to know where is uh, some place, okay. where the, the station, where is, is my, it's more polite, and when you need to uh, an indirect question, can you tell me, please, uh, where yeah. is the station? Where is the gas station? Where the gas station is? Good. That, that's a good example. Yeah, so um, like Kevin said, um, if you want to sound more polite, you use indirect questions. Can you tell me? Do you know? Can you please explain or, you know, like... Uh, you add information to the question so you sound more polite. Yes. Um, what else did we do? What were the other topics? About the past things, some, some exercise. Okay, exercises about past tense, yes. Uh, what are the auxiliaries we use when we speak about past tense? Did. What else? Good. Was and were. Good. Did. 
was and where, which one do I use? Uh, remember, we're talking about the simple past. Which one do I use if I'm expressing actions? Did, was, or were? Which one is it? Is was. Uh, I was it now for the I think it's did. Yeah, it is did. When we talk about actions, you use did. When you talk about conditions, you use was or were. So I say, did you finish the report? Did you send the information? Did you go to the hospital? The three examples are actions. Now, if I wanna ask questions about conditions, I would say, were you late? Were you worried? Were you on time? Were you late? Were you worried? Were you on time? Those three examples are, um, those three sentences are examples of conditions. So remember, did is for actions, was and were, we use them for conditions. Um, so we, we spoke about indirect questions and we also spoke about the simple past tense. What else did we talk about? Going to and will. Good, going to and will. When do we use going to and will? What's the function of it? <coughs> we use the going to to, to talk about um, actions or decisions that we are sure what we will do. Yes. And the uh, will for um, actions or plans what we would like to do, for example, next week or next year. Okay, good. Yes, uh, arrangements, plans, Agenda, you use going to, if it's a possibility, or if you're expressing what you want to do, or if you're talking about plans, but those plans were not discussed before, and they were made at the time you're speaking, then you use will. So where will you go for your next vacation? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think I will go to San Miguel. Um, if things go well, I will go to a Huachapan. So possibilities or actions that you decided at the time of speaking, you use will. Very good. Are there any questions about what we spoke about uh, on Thursday? No questions, no comments? Any question? All right. So let's go with the first activity. You guys are going to be doing the talking. Some of you guys are very quiet today and that's not good. So I'm gonna put you to speak. <laughs> you, will, you will talk about the different things you did on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and all day today. Quarantine effect. Yeah, yeah, maybe the, the side effects. Amen. <laughs> okay, so let me assign you. Um, good evening, uh, let me see, 11 people. If I make three, that's three and four. If I four, okay, here we go. Some of you guys are gonna be working in triads and some of you guys will be working in, 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 in pairs. So here we go. What are we, what are we gonna do? You will speak about the different things you did on the weekend. Okay. Yes.
I can't he uh, hear you, man. Uh, let me see. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lisa, what about you? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Well, look, I can't hear sometimes because it's raining, so I don't know if I can keep a conversation. Mm -hmm. And maybe well, yeah, I will be here just trying to hear. Yes, yes. Uh, tell us, what did you do on weekend? It was raining, but, yes. but in Saturday, and and Sunday all all day it was very hot, and the rain is coming to the night. Very, it's not that is a big problem because it's no it's no good to stay at home all day, and the 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 weather is not help. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Of my work, mm -hmm. and um, that's all. What about Luis Polanco? What did you do this weekend? Okay, this weekend. Yesterday, I was resting. I was I planting vegetables. I have a little kitchen garden. I think it's the correct word. Excuse me, teacher, what is the correct word for a huerto? Sure. Kitchen garden. Yeah, kitchen garden. Okay. I am working in my free time every every weekend or every Sunday I I'm planting vegetables like potatoes. I have radish is ravenous, correct? Radish, yes. Radish. Okay. And peppers. What kind of peppers? Green peppers and, and jalapenos. Jalapenos. Jalapeno. Hot peppers. Jalapeno. Hot peppers. Yeah, yeah right. you can say hot peppers or you can say jalapenos. Jalapenos or hot peppers. Okay. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Good. Yeah. And on Saturday, I was working. I... What about you? What about you, teacher? <laughs> what is it? I already <laughs> tell you. Tell us again. Oh my goodness, but I didn't do um, hardly nothing because I was resting all. And I also cook. Uh, during the morning and the afternoon of the Saturday, I cook uh, some some beef, uh, pork beef, um, chicken breast, and I try to prepare uh, the food for the whole week. For the whole week, then in the afternoon, I spend the like the whole afternoon uh, watching some some videos on YouTube. I also watched some episodes of a series called The Boys in Amazon Prime. Uh, then I, I, I did my, my exercise routine um, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then I took a second shower. Then I took uh, my dinner and that was it. The, the rest of the night I spent it uh, watching some videos. Sunday was basically for rest. I woke up late again. Yes, where do you live? Uh, San Salvador, San Miguel. <laughs> La Unión. La Unión. It's okay. very hot, right? <laughs> Kevin. And what about you, Eduardo? What did you do in your last weekend? Mm. On your where? last week? Yes. I let me see. Uh, uh, what, is, how, what is the pass of wash? Because I let me watch. see. Uh, watch. Tell me. Watch. Oh, with, with tea at the end, right? 
Yes. Well, I washed my clothes, all my shirts, and well, it was very interesting. <laughs> okay, me too. <laughs> Uh, what about yes. you, teacher? What did you do a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Friday, um, I was here all day. Saturday, I went out maybe like one hour and a half or two because Saturday um, was the day that my doing has the number mm -hmm. so you can go shopping. So I went to the supermarket. I went to buy some oranges some mangoes and then I came back to the house <laughs> and uh yeah. what else did I do oh and I had a few a few beers I had a few beers okay <laughs> yeah it's, it's good. good it's good yeah I began <laughs> like uh, like at 6 p.m I think and I finished uh, around <laughs> this time a little bit later maybe 9 p.m yeah yes yeah, yeah. So the, oh, very relaxing. Yeah, just here with, with, with my wife, my kids, you know, talking with them. And Sunday, I woke up really early and just watch TV, prepare some classes, and just chill. Yep. Yes. So, okay. So hopefully... Uh, if, if things go well, I will go out again on on Wednesday. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. So let's return to the main yes. session, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. okay. All right. Ladies. All right, um, any questions about the first activity? No. No? No. All right, so remember the simple past is one of the tenses that people use a lot all the time. So try to use it whenever you have the chance. Uh, you use did for actions, you use was and were for conditions. And if the verb is positive in the simple past tense, remember that we have three possibilities. We have the t, t and ed sound. So we say fixed, we say cleaned, and we say wanted. The three examples that I just gave you, they finish in ed, but each one has a different sound. All right, so um, we already finished all the units from the platform. So today we're gonna to start having a review, but every day we will have something new, something additional. So um, right now we're going to have a, a small exercise related with comparatives and superlatives. Uh, can someone refresh my memory how we use comparatives and superlatives in English? Repeat the question, please. Yes. Can someone explain to the group how we use comparatives and superlatives of short and long adjectives? Well, uh, I remember uh, comparatives. Um, we, we use it for talk about for example, two, two notebooks. Um, we, if we wanna uh, say uh, which one is the, the bigger, uh, we we say uh, the red notebook is bigger than a blue notebook. For example. Okay. So we um, have ER. Uh, yes. Yes. The, the 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 R. Luego, let me see the superlative for talk about the the biggest. The notebook, uh, what is the, which has a size uh, bigger than uh, all the, the other one. Very good. When you're comparing, when you're mentioning two things, 
in the same sentence, you use comparatives. If you're mentioning three things or more, then you use superlatives. Very good, Eduardo. Okay, uh, can someone explain how to use comparative superlatives with long adjectives? When we talk about superlatives uh, with long, long adjectives, um, in superlative, we, we use the, the most. Good. And, com and with comparative adjectives, we use more. Very good. Nice. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, so are there any exceptions on how to compare adjectives? Are there any exceptions? Remember that I gave you three exceptions? Who remembers the three exceptions? I don't remember. Okay, um, we have good. What else? What is the opposite of good? Bad. 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 And a synonym of close to? Near to. Near. Near. Mm. So good, bad, and near are the exceptions where you don't put ER or EST to apply the comparative of superlative. Good, it better, can, the best. No, yes. No, was good, bad, and far. Yes. Ah. What, what did I say? <laughs> Near. Near. Uh -huh. My goodness, I meant the opposite. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, it's good, bad, and and far. far. Good, bad, and far. Thank you, uh, Albi. Or near. Far yeah. or near? No, it, it's far, <laughs> not near. Okay. <laughs> yes, so you have good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst, and then you have far, farther, the farthest. At the end, you put ER and you put EST with far, but you need to include TH between um, before you write ER or before you write EST. All right, um, any questions or comments? No. No? All right, so I'm going to show you an image of um, of some exercises. And we have them here. Do you see part one? Yes, teacher. All right. What are you supposed to do in, in part one? For, for the degrees of comparisons. Of comparisons. Now, when we talk about comparisons, we mean uh, comparatives and superlatives. Right. Yes. So we nice. have. Sir. Uh huh. And nicest. Uh, okay, now remember, when you're using the superlative form, it is necessary that you include, uh, Oh yeah. what are you supposed to include? More. Okay, so nice, what is the comparative of nice? Nicer. Nicer. Now, what is the superlative form? Um, nicest. Okay, but what do you write before you say nicest? The. the. Exactly. The. Exactly. So you're the, supposed to say the, nice, nicer, the nicest. The nicest. Yes. 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 So um, did you receive the two images? Um, in this. No. In the, in the, in, yeah, in the WhatsApp chat. In the WhatsApp chat. Yes, we yes. have. Okay. So um, I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs so you practice the comparative superlative. 
exercises one and two. Okay. All right, let me see okay. this here. All right. Uh -huh. More breakout rooms. Three, six, ten. Okay, so I'm going to exchange to room five. Hold on. All right, here we go. Está enojado. Huawei, Huawei. Hello, Mar Hello, Maricela Oviedo. I am Pedro Castillo. Ah, Pedro. Hello. <laughs> I remember. Okay. okay. That's right. <laughs> John, I, I talked with you. I talked with you uh, okay. last week. Ah, we have to write in the other space. Is, is is the the superlative is okay. the nicest the nicest. nicest okay let me see nicer short. and nicest okay short uh, short mm, well short. I, i'm not sure about the pronunciation shorter shorter, or shorter. shorter okay. or shorter i don't know shorter both, both, shorter. both are good you can say shorter and omit the sound T, or you can include it and say shorter. Okay. The two options are oh, good. Okay. Oh. Careful and the most careful. Right, teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, is which one is it? Less. Yeah. Careful. Number uh, six. It's the comparative firm is more, more careful, careful, and the superlative the is the most careful. Right, that is correct. Yes, seven more, mm -hmm. more, 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 and then Who, who wants to do the six to number 10? Uh, who will take the number six? Six to 10. Yeah. Little. What about little? Hmm? Little, little, is, is it two syllables? Two 
What is the comparative form of little? Little. I don't know. No. One Teacher, six. help. Little, smaller. Ah, yes, the smaller. And the smallest. Yes. Uh -huh. Bad. 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 And the best. Much money. Much money, more and the most. More and the most. Okay. And the second block. Yes. High, higher, the highest. Okay. A small, a smaller, the smallest. Yes. Large, larger, and the largest. The largest. Okay. Uh, largest. Heavy, Maybe. heavier, the heaviest. Okay. New, newer, the newest. Aquí está igual, man. the new. Also. Hello, so teacher. It's the same. Yes. We have a question. Yes. Is this more careful or have a yeah. like, have more, one like nicer? No. Careful. Okay, perfect. Careful has two okay. syllables. So you say more careful, the most careful. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Okay. We are not okay. okay. Longer. Larger. Longer. Longer. Heavy. Heavy. Heavier. Heaviest. Heavy. Heavier. Heavy. And the heaviest. Uh, newer. New. And newest. Uh, the most interesting. 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 Beautiful. What about beautiful, Luis? Uh, more beautiful. Uh -huh. The most beautiful. Mm -hmm. More mm. difficult. Is difficult. Uh -huh. And the most difficult. Uh -huh. Now, creative. More creative. Okay. And the most. the most creative. The most Careful. Careful. Further, less, or something like that. Yeah. Okay. The next, uh, for for example, modern, it will be the same. More, the most popular, yeah. the same. For dangerous, I think you have to use less and the least. Yeah. Uh, uh, expensive. Yeah. The same, you use less expensive or the least expensive. For little, less and the least, I think. For bad, it will be better and baddest. Uh, uh, worse and worst. Bad, yeah. worse, worst. Worst, worst. Yes. You can use like better or baddest. You can, and people will understand you, but grammatically speaking, it's not good. You should okay. say um, smoking is is worse than drinking, for example. Yeah. yeah. So you should say worse or the worst. Okay, that, that's a nice input. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, all right. The same happened with good. You will use best and better. Exactly. Right. Now, don't be surprised if you hear uh, if you hear uh, music or you watch movies and you hear people saying bad, better, or good, gooder. Music and movies and, and even in some places in the States, people okay. speak like that. But it's, it's, it's normal. Nobody's going to say anything to you. Yeah, but, but, it's, not, but it's not like proper. Yeah, gra grammatically speaking, it's not good. Yeah, it's not proper because yeah, I I've had speak with 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 some like uh, native uh, uh, English speakers, speakers uh -huh. and they, they, they use a lot th this kind of of words and right. my 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 end thinking that 
that is proper or, or it's good to use, but what it turned it turned out to be not the case. I mean, it's good to communicate uh, because uh, many people in the states and other countries where English is the language, you know, their priority is to communicate ideas. So if you make mistakes when you speak, I mean, they know it's not good, but they don't say anything either. Yeah, I, 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 I suppose that for, um, I don't know, for a more um, formal or, or corporate right. or executive uh, environment, it's not proper to use. No, no. That, uh, it, it's better if you say worse and worst. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's, that's All right. a, good. a great input. All right. Good. The comparative is less ah, it's and small. the superlative in the small, least small. Small. Oh. What what number are you doing? Yes, a little. little. The last, <laughs> the last one. Last oh. Less, the le, uh -huh, less and the last. The least. The least. So uh huh. Least. Okay. Yes. So you guys finished both parts. Yeah, we finished. Yeah, we finished. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Let's okay. go back. Teacher, what is the superlative for oh, uh, for a little? Uh, more little, the most little. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, did everybody finish the exercise?